Well, Star Wars was number one this weekend. Uh, that's a big surprise. I'm glad I dragged my ass off the most uncomfortable couch in Brooklyn to come here and confirm that. Anybody? Sure, I'll take this one. Star Wars, Revenge of the Shit. Now, nobody knew that this movie was going to even come out. I mean, I thought after the second uh, Clone War one, you know, where Yoda fought in that lightsaber fight, that that was it. It was going to be over. But, you know, Lucas, he surprises us all, comes out with Revenge of the Shit. You know, the man is brilliant. All he has to do is take the name Star Wars and just put it in front of any movie. I mean, he did it with Revenge of the Shit. Apparently there was a movie called Revenge of the Shit, and he put Star Wars in front of it. I heard he may do it with uh, Lassie Come Home, Star Wars Lassie Come Home. He may uh, do that. Brilliant, brilliant man. Sick. Gesundheit. Chaz, who did you blow to get this job? Because I know Jerry Bruckheimer is heterosexual. I mean, do you realize that the, your title at this company is development director? A two-year-old is better at developing than you. I mean, who knew Revenge of the Sith was coming out? They knew 30 years ago when every geek boy like this guy was lined up around the block to see the first Star Wars. Jesus. Jerry Bruckheimer, huh? <laughs> now we know how you got your job. So I hear there's a really comfortable couch in Brooklyn to stay on tonight, hun. Speaking of wild beasts, let's move on to our next movie, Madagascar. <laughs> Who wants to take this one? Chad? It's Chaz. I didn't pay a thousand dollars to have my name changed for nothing, okay? Madagascar. Mad about a gas car. It's a movie with a social message. It's saying, hey, get out of Iraq. It's saying, hey, care about the environment. This movie was made by a bunch of Hollywood liberals who care. And I think that's why this movie is going to soar at the box office. I know I love it. I have a hybrid car, okay? And I care about the environment. I want to go see it. I think everybody is going to want to see Madagascar. <laughs> Gee, Chazzy, I didn't realize they had hybrid Humvees. You see, interestingly enough, Madagascar is actually a movie about animals, which, even though it's not Trek 2, really fulfills that family demographic for the holiday weekend. But you want to know what the number one box office pull is? You want to know what the number one demographic is? I'll tell you. It's Guys Without Girlfriends, bringing in the number one and number three box office this weekend. Now, at first, we thought the longest yard was going to be going that extra yard, with Burt Reynolds with that tacked on squirrel thing to his head, but it eventually fumbled to Revenge of the Sith, which brought Jedi Masters out without girlfriends for the fifth time to stroke their lightsabers. Genius. For your information, I've only seen Star Wars four times, and one time a girl sat next to me. You guys get me down here, you get me out of bed all hung over in the morning to come talk numbers. This guy doesn't even go see the movie. You're over here going, statistics prove that you should go see this and you should go see this. Tell me why I should go see movies. All you're about is money and dollars and cents and percentages and who does what. I just, I'm just just sick of this crap. I just... But same time, same time next week, guys? Okay. Is that comfortable for you? Oh, yes, very much so. Thank you very much. Good. You'll be there for the next few days. Whatever, babe. <laughs>